the Caliphate, a form of rule in Islam that lasted for almost 13 centuries, from the death of the Prophet Muhammad to the overthrow of the last Ottoman Caliph in 1924. The Arabic term for Caliph is Khalifa, which actually in essence simply means a, a successor or a, a deputy. The ruler of the Islamic world would call himself Khalifa Rasulullah, the successor of God's messenger. Through the centuries, the title of Caliph is a term that has been used and at times abused. In June 2014, a militant group calling itself the Islamic State and Iraq and the Levant, or ISIL, declared the establishment of a caliphate, a call rejected by most Muslims around the world. ISIL took root and expanded in Iraq and Syria. Two countries plunged into violence by the political turmoil and foreign intervention of recent years. The turmoil revived sectarian differences that go back over 10 centuries between Sunni and Shia Muslims. إذا منذ البداية كان النزاع سياسيا مع تخلفه لبعد ديني لأن الشرعية السياسية تقف أو تستند أو ترتكز أساسا على مبررات ديني وهذا الأمر الذي لا زال قائما إلى يومنا هذا. This is the story of the great split within Islam. Of how this split arose from a dispute of who should succeed the Prophet Muhammad. This is the story of the Caliph. The Bayah Mosque, outside Mecca in Saudi Arabia. It was here, in the year 622, that a delegation from the town of Medina made Bayah a pledge of support and shelter to the Prophet Muhammad. Shortly after, he left Mecca, emigrating to Medina with a group of followers. Over the next 10 years, Muhammad built the first Islamic state. But in June 632, the Prophet died in his capital Medina, leaving the young state without a leader. There's a tradition that says that the Muslims on that day were like sheep on a rainy night. They were frightened and huddling together. And it's not clear whether or not the Prophet had made any plans for his succession. Within hours of the Prophet's death, senior figures in the Muslim community came together to choose a successor to the Prophet, a caliph. The debate was long and intense. It was the emigrants from Mecca whose arguments prevailed. Abu Bakr Siddiq, 
was chosen to be the first caliph in Islam. المهاجرون طرحوا عدة مسوغات لتوليهم الأمر بعد الرسول فيها مسوغات دينية وفيها مسوغات قبلية لأنهم ادعوا أيضا أنهم أهل الرسول وهم أولى من غيرهم على اعتبار أن هذه الرسالة تركة But though they were from his tribe, Quraysh, not all the immigrants were from the Prophet's close family, the Hashemites, the descendants of Muhammad's great-grandfather, Hashim. At that time, in Arab society, the family was understood as a much larger unit. Collateral lines, uncles, brothers, cousins, and so on, were all considered to be part of the clan. Senior among the Hashemites was Ali, Muhammad's cousin, husband of his one surviving daughter, Fatima, and father of the Prophet's only living grandsons, Al Hassan and Al Hussein. But when the decision to choose the Caliph was taken, Ali was busy elsewhere. At the time of the Prophet's actual death, we know that it was Ali who was in charge of the burial arrangements. Ali, as a dutiful, respectful son-in-law, cousin, was caring for the Prophet's body. The next day, in the Medina Mosque, Abu Bakr was given bay'ah, the oath of allegiance, by the majority of the Muslim community. Ali, however, was not one of them. What happened that day would sow the seeds of a political divide that would gradually evolve into a deep religious schism. The division of Islam into Sunni and Shia. You ask a Sunni or a Shi'i Muslim about that moment of Muhammad's death and the decision about the leadership, you will get two very different answers. The Sunnis suggest that he hadn't actually made any clear plans for his succession on his death. The Shia would say that he had and that he was to be succeeded by his first cousin and son-in-law, Ali. Three months before his death, the Prophet Muhammad made a famous speech here in Ghadir Khum, an ancient resting place on the route from Mecca to Medina. A speech that has been interpreted ever since in two very different ways. O people of whomsoever I've been master, Ali here is to be his master. O oh Allah, be a supporter of whoever supports him and an enemy of whoever opposes him and divert the truth to Ali. There's this moment where if you're Sunni, you believe the Prophet gave Ali the leadership of his family. If you're Shia, you believe he gave the leadership of the family but also the whole community. The Prophet's speech is celebrated by Shia to this day. Each year, a feast is held on the anniversary to commemorate what Shia see as Muhammad appointing Ali to be his successor. But the mainstream majority, the Sunnis, have no such feast and no doubts about the legitimacy of Abu Bakr and the caliphs who succeeded him.